Well, that looks significantly better. Well, good evening, glue troopers. Uh, I'm going to keep it kind of brief tonight. Got a little bit of a late start because it's kind of a glum day out here. And I hate to admit this, but the 10 foot walk between the house and the Tarvis when it's raining, you're like, I'll go watch YouTube videos. Uh, so, uh, but the work I did get done was some pretty good quality work. I got the uh, Buffalo looking a lot better. I got the, the gray re or remastered it and, and got the gray reshot. No spillage. No, I used a smaller air, uh, airbrush this time, of course, smaller area but and the shade looks better so I'm much happier with that it's actually starting to come together and look like some the canopy is a bit of a trick and I learned something also uh, after I'd already masked it and painted it uh, that I actually learned doing a little work after the live stream on the Marine Corps variant the F2A-3 those center ribs in the sliding part of the canopy were actually removed it was one sheet of plexiglass or what they whatever they used back then a little plexiglass and uh the little ribbings were actually just fiberglass straps which increased the visibility lighten the plane just a little bit and uh so sometimes units would paint them the color of the rest of the airplane sometimes they would just cover them uh, when they painted the airplane and that's why you see some pictures of the buffalo and and the ribbing on the canopy is kind of hard to see it almost like it isn't there so also 442 came a long way it's looking good it's it, I, i'm very happy with it the like like the fleet side that i was very happy with it it's like anything else the more cars are built i'm starting to get a little bit better at it learning what not to touch uh, not to necessarily follow the instructions exactly because some things you do in that order and you wind up having to move a piece to put a piece in you kind of start to get a little sense for that and uh the little uh uh, figure that I put in there is uh, also looking right. I, I did find out that uh, the car is a, a 1 to 25 scale and the figure is a 1 to 24 scale and even though it's a tiny little difference it explains one reason was a little more trouble uh, fitting him in there but still uh, we, sh we have overcome. Uh, I also got the Polara. I got the and of course there was the, always the standard issue breakage when you try to pull something off that's been glued on but uh, I, I did take two of the extra street tires and put them on there but what happened was I didn't have the, the proper rims, I didn't have the dish pan rims. So what I decided to do was I could either put the dish pans up front and the craggers in back, they just didn't look right. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do a totally max thing here. Uh, and since I kind of like the car to have the, the hot rod touch, but I also want the little old lady look, I put two dish pans on one side and two uh, Kreger style rims on the other side, so that which side you're looking at. Of course, it, it's a little lopsided, but I don't think that's because of that. I think that's just because of me monkeying around with all the innards down below. But uh, so depending on which side you're looking at, it, it looks like the little old lady version or a little bit more like the rod version. So that's all I got done. Um, uh, got stuff I got to go do now. I got to go to work tomorrow. Don't know if I'll get out here to, to finish off the uh, 442. Really just pretty much needs uh, rear view mirrors and decals and a few little bibs and bobs. But I'm going to I'm going to let it harden, uh, all of the stuff harden overnight. And if not, I'll get back to it in four days. I am not doing a road build this time. I, I took uh, my uh, schedule and looked at it, and there just isn't really, we, we get in the afternoon, we're out in the morning, there just isn't time to relax and build. Because usually when I do a road build, we have a really late show or get in really early, so I have like a day. That's not going to go on. So maybe get a little research done and, and do some kind of online informational video uh, but uh, other than that uh, that's that's uh, not really gonna get much gonna get much done so uh, I'm just this is a working trip all the way other than that guys I hope you're having a wonderful day I hope you're having better weather than we are I uh, hope you had a great Father's Day thanks for everyone who made the live stream guys you take care of yourselves and oh by the way one quick note before I forget these little uh, etching tools that were sent to me these little stem handled files these are great and I tell you what especially they're perfect for getting these little nooks and crannies and getting the chrome off of things without damaging the whole part uh, they, they got the chrome off the grill work where I could set the black pieces in they got the 
the, the chrome off the rims of the tires, uh, the insides of the silver, the wheels where the part could mate, but didn't mess it up. So the, all four wheels in this car turn. And uh, that's a first for me. So uh, I wanna, and of course, off the top of my head, I forgot who sent this to me, these to me, these files, but thank you, these are wonderful. And also uh, I, I started building the engine, even though it's not gonna be in the car, but uh, for some reason I have the urge to paint it like psychedelic colors just to do something different. Okay, that's it. You guys take care. Model on.